Russian President Vladimir Putin met with Chinese Communist Party Chairman Xi Jinping on September 15th during the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit. In a rare admission, Putin acknowledged Xi's concerns about the war between Russia and Ukraine. Xi Jinping's attitude towards Putin appeared to be extraordinarily low-key. Online video showed that the atmosphere of the meeting was somewhat awkward. Putin had no smile staring at Xi while Xi's eyes were somewhat darting and evasive, seemingly reluctant to face Putin's gaze. The day before Putin's meeting with Xi, Ukrainian President Zelensky announced that the Ukrainian army had recovered more than 8,000 square kilometers of territory since the start of the counteroffensive in September. Putin admitted China's concerns about the war between Russia and Ukraine. In his opening remarks at the meeting, Putin expressed appreciation to Xi for the balanced position of our Chinese friends in connection with the Ukrainian crisis. In addition, Putin actively echoed Beijing's position on Taiwan and attacked Western countries. We highly value the balanced position of our Chinese friends when it comes to the Ukraine crisis. The U.S. media considers Putin's response unusual. The Wall Street Journal reported that State Department spokesman Ned Price said at a press conference, What is striking is President Putin's apparent admission, at least as stated in the media, that President Xi has concerns about Russia's war against Ukraine. It's not surprising that the PRC apparently has such concerns. It is somewhat curious that President Putin would be the one to admit it so openly. The Wall Street Journal believes that with the current atmosphere of Russia losing the war, Putin naturally cannot expect meaningful aid from China or Central Asian countries, and Beijing needs to avoid Western sanctions. Xi Jinping's attitude is surprising. Xi Jinping's attitude towards Russia also appears to have deteriorated significantly on the surface. According to Al Jazeera, an Arabic radio and TV broadcaster of Qatar, Xi Jinping's response during the bilateral meeting was surprising. Xi gave only a general statement without going into any details. China is willing to work with Russia to play a leading role in demonstrating the responsibility of major powers and to instill stability and positive energy into a world in turmoil. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has led to isolation and sanctions by the West. The U.S. has repeatedly warned China not to support Russia in the war or risk sanctions. But analysts quoted by Bloomberg expect that the CCP is unlikely to change its stance on the Russia-Ukraine war, even if Xi Jinping does not provide military aid to Russia to avoid possible sanctions and strong international condemnation. However, the CCP may still provide Russia with more political and moral support. Li Jianchu's response shows where Beijing stands. It is worth noting that in contrast to Xi's attitude, Li Jianchu, the current chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, a number three member of the Politburo Standing Committee of the Chinese Communist Party, China's top decision-making body, had just concluded a visit to Russia before Xi met with Putin. During his visit to Russia, Li, the third-ranking figure in the Communist Party and a close associate of Xi, said that in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, China expressed its full understanding and will provide responses from different aspects. He didn't elaborate on how the Chinese side would respond, but his statement has received widespread attention as the strongest and most explicit support from Beijing to Russia on the issue of Russia's invasion of Ukraine so far. The BBC reported that the meeting between Xi Jinping and Putin will undoubtedly remind the outside world once again that the strategic cooperation between the two countries has no limits and no restricted areas.